Uh, yeah, I thought uh, I thought it was a good hockey game. Um, there were obviously some um, hiccups and things that uh, you know I, I thought that we uh, needed to adjust, and I and I thought our players definitely did that as the game went on. Um, and I was really happy with the way we responded, even though you know when they tied that game up, how we responded and and started to take control uh, back a little bit. Um, so overall, I thought it was a good hockey game. Um, you know, I, I think, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Coach, you mentioned a little bit about the resilience of your team. Can you also just talk about the high scoring potent offense that you have right now? Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, I, I think almost every line had a, had something, uh, going there today. Um, and I, you know, that's what we're going to need this year, I think. You know, I think we're going to need all three lines, and sometimes that fourth line going and buzzing and and uh, and doing a good job for us. And I think, you know, after Erin left the game, I thought Molly Slow did a good job in the couple of shifts she had there at the end. And and uh, that's what we're going to need. You know, we lost three um, defensemen uh, to that national team, so um, you know, people are going to have to step up in roles that that maybe they weren't in before. Coach, you've always had special teams be a part of the team here at BC and you didn't start the season off that well but now it's kind of clicking in all cylinders is, is it where you want it to be right now um I think we're still working on it um I think uh you can always improve but I really um I, I think we did a good job today and and uh I mean obviously giving up a shorthanded goal is never really what you want to do or maybe it wasn't short yeah shorthanded goal um is not really what you want I think we got a little lax there um but I think uh Overall, I, I've really been happy with the way that they've adjusted through the season, and, and uh, hopefully it'll you know keep keep getting better. And Coach McKenna becomes the 17th player to reach that 100-point plateau. Only a junior, so plenty of room to grow. Uh, what are your thoughts of her and, and her leadership so far this season? I think McKenna's been great. Um, you know, she's we put her, uh, we moved her to the center um, after the first couple of games, and I think uh, I think she's adjusted really well there for us and. I mean, she's a player that plays both ends of the ice. She's out there on the power play. She's out there on the penalty kill, um, you know, and she's on her on the bench cheering everybody else on too. You know, she's one of those players that you love to have on your team. Um, she's she's a great hockey player and an even better person. Um, and I think her teammates see that every day. Um, and we're 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 I'm I'm happy for her to have that hundredth, and I know she'll have a, f a few more here. Can you just talk about Daryl Watts and her increased importance to um, your offense? Yeah, I think uh, you know their line was really good today offensively. You know they found ways to to put pucks in that net, and I think um, I think Katrin had a great game. I think uh, Daryl had a great game, and Willow had a great game. And um, you know Daryl <laughs> has a special special uh, knack for scoring goals. You know she finds a way to. Um, Put pucks in when we when we need a goal or or uh, or find someone um, you know find someone to to help to as an uh, you know for an assist to to you know that that play I'm trying to think Katrin's second goal I guess um, I thought that was an unbelievable play I mean it was just a great hockey goal um, you have someone going to the net you have a you know everyone on the line contributed um, and, I, and I thought thought their uh, their lines really clicking.